What's going on everybody and welcome to Rondell's Unpopular Opinion and welcome to the YouTube channel. If you have not already, make sure that you not only like this video with a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more imperatively, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell hit. So yesterday TMZ broke the shocking and tragic news of a double drowning incident that took place at the former MLB and owner of 1501 record label called Crawford's home. I also uploaded a video yesterday explaining the incident which occurred around 2 30 p.m. on Saturday May the 16th at the Houston residence y'all and a young woman and a five-year-old boy was pronounced deceased during the small gathering that took place at the home where they said that the five-year-old may have wandered off and landed in the pool. So the five-year-old's identity has yet to be released to the media. However, the young woman who sadly lost her life trying to save him has been identified as Bethany Lartigue, who was only 25 years young. Now, the gathering at Call's home had about six people in attendance, which was actually in compliance with Houston social distancing rules with gatherings of 10 or fewer people. Bethany's relation to Call, though, is through his artist, Erica Banks, at 1501 Records, and Bethany and Erica were actually a couple. Erica went and expressed her heartbreak on social media about this incident that took place at her boss's house, and she stated, quote, I lost my baby today, man. You meant the world to me, dog. We did everything together. I love you, Bethany. Can't wait to meet you in heaven, Tink. Now, Bethany was also a member of the Arlington Impact women's football team and the organization expressed their shock and sad and heartbreak by this untimely demise of Bethany. And they went on to also state via their social media that their hearts are heavy. We know you have found internal peace. Your soul touched us all. You were our soldier, our teammate, friend and sister. We will retire the number four in your honor. Now, major prayers and condolences definitely do go out to Bethany's friends and family, as well as this five-year-old young boy's family and friends, because drowning is definitely one of the worst ways to go, all right? And most of you probably know Carl Crawford from the time that he spent with the LA Dodgers till about 2016, or from his engagement to Basketball Wives reality TV star, Evelyn Lozada. But Call is also known for basically being in the baseball industry for almost 20 years professionally, and he's also a father of five. So I'm pretty sure that in the back of his mind somewhere, he's thinking like, damn, I'm a dad. I have children. What if this was one of my children? You know, every parent always thinks that way. So this is a very, very tragic story um, for Call, for Bethany's family and friends, for this five-year-old's family and friends. It's just really sad all the way around. However, if more information is to come at my front door, or if it does come at my front door, I will share it with you all. And that's all I have for this one. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. As I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is on. Take care. Y'all be well. Peace.